Tara, I heard you grew the flowers Thomas gave me. Thanks, they're beautiful. You're very welcome. So, did you guys have dinner? Yes, it was very nice. <laughs> I never really thought I might be ready to move on, but he doesn't seem to mind if we take things slowly.
Juliet won't stop asking me when she gets to visit my real bookstore. Children aren't traditionally allowed in Ravenwood Hollow, but she's gonna wear me down before long. Balance brooms for Sebastian and Juliet. They'll be so cute whizzing around. Ariel can't resist helping an injured animal. Because of it, I've been forced to learn a great deal about what herbs heal the creatures of the Earth. How'd it go with Sophia? Oh, Tara, she loved the pans. You were right. Knowing that Sophia forgives me, oh, it's a big weight off my shoulders. <laughs> and now you don't have to avoid the diner. No more missing Sophia's pies of the week. I grew up in the city, so I thought I'd seen it all. But I'd never seen the mayor's spouse levitating in the town square. Now, I can say that I've seen it all. The Book of the Mind says we should all meditate regularly, but, see, I could never really meditate before. I was always afraid the ghost would come for me. No matter what I was doing, a tiny part of me was alert, watching. And now, that part of me can chill out for once. So, I can meditate, and get a good night's sleep, and maybe even watch a scary movie. Whoa, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves.
I was hoping to give Lena some tulips for our anniversary, but Violet's all sold out. I've been checking every day to see if she gets some in stock, but now I think Violet's avoiding me. Are you growing any flowers on your farm? Yes, I've planted a few flowers. That's great. Lena's never really understood why I love flowers so much, but she does like tulips. I think it's because they're Dutch. Oh, is Lena Dutch? Um, no, Norwegian, but that's kind of close, right? Not even remotely. <laughs> Geography was never really my strongest subject. Anyway, if you have any tulips to spare, you would really save the day. Okay, I'll let you know if I've got some. Awesome, thanks. Any luck with the tulips? Yes, um, here they are. Thanks so much. I know it might seem old-fashioned, but I'm a fan of the surprise romantic gesture. I'm sure she'll love them, Parker. You think so? She's a hard nut to crack sometimes, but that's part of why I love her. Totally made my day, brah. Thanks. My parents called the other day and asked if I wanted to sell the bar. They said it'd be good to travel, but I'm not sure where I'd even go. Founder Korn keeps emailing me for updates on the malcontent situation, but I've stopped answering. He can kick me out of the league if he wants. I don't really care now. I wonder if Vanessa left any of her clothes behind. I could stretch out some of her pantsuits, maybe rip them up a little. Cam. Okay, okay. No fashion larceny. Mommy looked worried. But she's too brave to be scared of a bully like Mrs. Soft. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> and to think, I believe that moving here would mean a slower-paced life. I feel like I have to work even harder because I'm the only one responsible for the whole town's health. You do seem really busy. One woman I dated said I use work as an excuse to not get close to anyone. She just didn't understand the pressure. I think you should forget about making someone else happy until you've taken care of yourself a little bit. You're working too hard. That's a thoughtful point. I'm not really used to putting myself first, though. <sighs> Thanks for letting me vent. I feel like taking a day off soon. But like a real day off, not paying bills and doing laundry. Maybe if you're free, we could get a drink sometime?
Figured you'd be back. Guilty conscience weighing on you, boy. Yes, very much. I've been thinking about your betrayal, too. Because of what you did, those of us in the Coven had to use a tremendous amount of magical force. It was exhausting. I realize that. So I brought something to contribute to the Wellspring. If you'll take it, this is the werewolf suppression potion Vanessa gave me. It's made with rare ingredients. Ah, so it's powerful stuff. Powerful enough to keep the wellspring balanced for a good while. That would give us a much needed break. But Wesley, doesn't that mean you'll be a werewolf in the daytime too? Yes, at least until I start taking the potion again. Vanessa told me how to brew more and Perry's already begun a batch. But it takes a long time to steep. In the meantime, giving you my supply is the right thing to do. It's brave of you to give up something you've relied on. Is it brave? Doesn't feel that way to me. You witches are the brave ones. All right, Wesley. We accept. Go ahead. Amazing! Holy mother of- It's working. I, I guess I'd better get used to looking like this for a while. Don't fret. It's your more fetching form, boy. Hey, hey, hey. Both your forms are smoking. This is a body positive coven. I wish I agreed, but thanks for the support, I guess. Hey, you're supporting us, so we're supporting you. That's how this works. Francis was always going to join the Coven. It was just a matter of when. Being a witch is work! How come you didn't give me a heads up? It's gonna be so fun having Francis in the Coven. We need more witches our age. Is it time for bed?
I called Mrs. Off the Witch once for giving us too much homework, but I didn't know it was true. Hi, Marty. Uh, uh, Martin. Uh, which, which one is it? It's Marty. My father's estate manager has just called. Maplethorpe Tower has been sold to pay his creditors, and I feel... fine. Actually, it's strange. All my life I've carried the weight of the Maplethorpe name, but now for the first time, my future is completely mine to define. For better or worse. So, you'll stay? Yep. What would become of Mutilda or Attila the Hen if I left? Besides, I can't give Thomas the satisfaction of watching me move out. Look at you, taking responsibility for your livestock. I know. Following through on something we start is not exactly a Maplethorpe trait. It feels weird, but good. When I came here, I thought I was going to be dealing with a bunch of country rubes, but then this strange thing happened. I began to actually like the people here. I just hope they give me another chance. Chain, but Angus seems so much more mellow lately. And I think I heard him asking Gibba about meditation? Welcome, everyone. Today, we turn a new chapter in the Book of the Mind by putting it down all together. That's right, just yeah, throw that book away. We're writing our own story from now on, and I know it's daunting, frightening, terrifying, even. <laughs> but, but we can do it, so long as you have faith in me. I, I mean, yourselves. Funny, but I feel bad for Vanessa. The whole time she lived here, she was looking for acceptance. We all would have been our friends if she'd let us. Doesn't it feel calm in here? Real quiet. Maybe that's just because I don't have the twins with me. Francis doesn't know what to do with himself now that he doesn't have to nudge me awake from nightmares anymore. I think sleeping all the way through the night is a whole new world for him. Gloria came to visit the Consciousness Center the other day. Really? I didn't think she was the type. Oh no, she didn't want to climb the mountain. She told me that if I ever accused anyone else of being a malcontent, she would slap me with taxes so high I'd never leave the Valley of Disillusionment. Which... fair. Hey, I heard you help set up my mom and Thomas. Oh, I wouldn't say I set them up, exactly. Anyway, he's so much better than Marty. Mom actually seems, like, happy for the first time in a long time. So, 
Thanks. I still can't believe what Juliet went through. She's such a trooper. Sophia should be proud having a kid like that. Sometimes I look at Juliet and think, Oh, my daughter's a witch. I've been trying not to stare. I don't want to give her a complex. Gloria being back must be such a relief for Violet. It's good to see her finally let loose a little. So, um... Sebastian said he's going to be a part of Coven 2 when he gets older. That's cool, I guess. <sighs> Can you, like, magic up some perfect rollers for me tomorrow? Sorry, Kai. I can make it rain, though. Nah, don't do that. Then the waves get all disorganized. I don't know, Lena. To be real with you, if it weren't for the kids, I wouldn't even be talking to you right now. I want to start over. <clears throat> Hi there, handsome stranger. I'm Lena. I'm a witch. Lena? Handsome stranger? Come on! Hi, Lena. I'm Parker. I'm not a witch. But, but, but if you had just told me the truth from the beginning... <laughs> I know. Do you think we could take these seedlings and plant them together anyway? When I first met you, I, I felt like you understood me, like we were meant to put roots down together. But I didn't know you at all. Wow, what a coincidence. So why don't we get to know each other while we get these seedlings in the ground? Hey, you gotta water them right away so they don't get transplant shot. <laughs> Learn that one the hard way. Here. Like this. And this is my cue to leave. What's up, new teach? Oh, just thinking of how to restore the children's faith in school now that their teacher's been revealed as an egomaniacal kidnapper. <laughs> You're neither egomaniacal nor a kidnapper, so you should be fine. Right, but I should show them they can trust me. I was thinking maybe a picnic? And you could help by providing fresh veggies? But Emmy and Finn hate fresh veggies, remember? Oh, please. I know that. I want to make pav budgie with potatoes and cauliflower. It's one of my favorite meals from Mumbai. You take vegetables and simmer them with spices until you get a mash, top it with butter, and... <laughs> oh, even the twins won't turn up their noses at that. We'll all go sit by the overlook outside my house and eat a meal together. It'll be idyllic. In that case, I really can't say no to bringing you potatoes and cauliflower. I bought all the spices I'd need for the puff budgie from Kai. Now I just need the vegetables. And voila! Here they are! Oh, this is perfect! Thanks, Tara. I'll let you know how my picnic gambit works out.
You know, Gloria could have been High Priestess if she had been here when my father took ill. You've been an amazing leader, Lena. I think the Coven would fall apart without you at this point. I'm furious with Vanessa. How dare she do this after being welcomed into this town? Time for bed.
The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and take me fast. Hey, Planty. Water some plants for me today? I'm glad my potion was able to help the coven. I promise you, I'll do all I can to help, however I can. It wasn't easy for Wesley to dump all that potion into the wellspring, but it was right for him to make amends. It is good to see Gloria walking Ravenwood Hollow streets. Even I could admit that her presence was missed by many. You humans have it so easy. You can't live long enough to forget where you came from. Thank you. 
Parker and I have been going on dates again. Actual dates. Not just collapsing on the couch and watching TV in silence after the kids are asleep.
I see something. for bed. <laughs> <laughs> 